there. Today, I'm taking you 2,000 years back in time. As I told you last time, Peter was chosen to be the rock on which to build the church. Jesus went back to heaven, but Peter still didn't have the courage needed for this huge task he'd received. The 120 disciples gathered together and waited for the Holy Spirit to be sent from heaven. that these flames aren't dangerous, quite the opposite actually. This is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus. It would give them strength and teach them everything they need to know. Now finally they understood what Jesus had told them all along. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Now they went out on the streets to spread the gospel of Jesus. And somehow they could speak the languages of all foreigners. Nihao! Yesu is the way, Jesus is the way, the truth is the life. Jesus is the way, the truth How have they learned to speak in all these languages? Aren't they from Galilee? Nah, they're just full of sweet wine. Explain this to us! Listen to my words. We are not drunk, but this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Therefore, let all of Israel know that God has made that same Jesus, who you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Brother, what should we do? Change your hearts and lives. Each of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you, your children, and for all who are far away, as many as the Lord our God invites.
many of the people who listened to Peter received the gospel right away. On that day, 3,000 people were baptised and began following Jesus. The Holy Spirit filled Peter with courage and with strength. He would become the rock Jesus would build the church on. And the same goes for us. God has sent the Holy Spirit to earth so that we too can understand what is right and get all the power we need to follow Jesus. Next time, you'll hear more about all the amazing miracles that happened with Peter and the other disciples. But for now, thanks for following along with this story. I'll see you again in the next episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya! Oh, hey there! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or share it with a friend. Hit subscribe to never miss a new episode and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!